hello welcome uh, to another video on uh, the topics uh, selected from analytic number theory uh, in this video uh, we shall discuss uh, any uh, a result uh, which, uh, which which is taken from the 10th chapter of uh, uh, analytic number theory text uh, authored by tm apostle uh, actually the result is uh, included in the uh, chapter uh, uh, giving the uh, giving the number uh, 10.5 and and the result says that uh, uh, that g be a primitive root of uh, uh, an odd prime number p uh, p is an odd prime number uh, let g be a primitive root of uh, the prime number p uh, then, uh, then the even powers g square. See the uh, the even powers uh, g uh, g, to, uh, g square g raised to four g to the power four etc. Up uh, to g uh, raised to p minus one. Since p is o, 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 since p is odd, then p minus one is even. Uh, then the uh, these are the even powers, all possible even powers of g, uh, which uh, uh, whose power falls below uh, p may uh, below p. Uh, they are all quadratic residue mode P. These numbers are quadratic residue mode P, and the remaining powers, uh, they are uh, that is the odd powers, uh, g g cube etc. up to g g to the power p minus two, g g cube etc. to g to the power p minus two are all quadratic non-residue mode P. How can we prove this? Uh, see, uh, there are many, not many uh, deep steps there. Mm, see. Uh, uh you know when n is even let's let's take a number a natural number n uh, when it is even then you can write n equal to 2m so n equal to 2m where m is uh, another in, uh, another natural number and then uh, let's take uh, g to the power n uh, then it is it can be written um, as g to the power 2m by replacing n by 2m and then we can write that uh, it's equal to g, ra g raised to n equal to g raised to 2m and that uh, can be rewritten as g raised to m by taking g raised to m uh, as one number and then uh, squaring it g raised to m the whole square g raised to m square okay uh, then uh, then let's consider um, now let's consider uh, the equation g raised to n is congruent to x square uh, mod p I consider the equation g raised to n g raised to n is congruent to g raised to n is congruent to x square mod p then in this equation you can uh, you can see that uh, you can fit that because uh, these two quantities are equal mm, since these quantities are equal if you uh, assume if you replace g raised to m by x when we replace g raised to m by x now uh, you know you can see that uh, uh, then uh, the number g raised to m fits in this equation uh, in the quadratic equation, it's a quadratic equation. Uh, quadratic, uh, quadratic uh, um, uh, model, uh, um, uh, yeah, quadratic residue equation. In this equation, uh, the number g raised to m fits. That means uh, g raised to m x equal to g raised to m is a solution for this uh, equation. Uh, then, what are the candidates for uh, g raised to uh, m? Uh, the candidates for uh, g raised to m are uh, those numbers, uh, those numbers which are even numbers. Uh, and and uh, that fall below uh, the number p so uh, so the here, so here the, ca the candidate for m are the numbers mm, are those numbers uh, which are less than p and those are uh, those are even numbers okay and therefore uh, we can say that uh, in all those uh, cases in all those cases we can say that uh, that number uh, that is uh, the number g raised to n uh, the the number g raised to n is a quadratic residue mod uh, mod p okay it's the quadratic residue uh, quadratic residue mod p uh, hence we get that uh, the first part of the uh, result uh, next uh, then uh, the remaining part to get the uh, to accept or to understand the remaining part uh, see um, uh, it is clear that uh, the remaining numbers uh, now you can understand that the remaining numbers uh, uh, are clearly a quadratic non residue mod p because if they are also a quadratic residue then uh, that undermines the uh, 
uh, that uh, uh, they then there exists uh, the same number of quadratic residue uh, mod p and it's because uh, that number that will uh, affect that uh, the existence of uh, so if these numbers if some of the numbers of this uh, odd prime uh, odd powers uh, one of uh, some or more of uh, uh, the numbers in the odd powers uh, are also uh, quadratic residue then that will affect that uh, uh uh affect that existence uh, ex the existence of the other uh, set of numbers uh, uh, which are uh, clearly quadratic residue so uh, we can uh, say that uh, the remaining uh, numbers are quadratic non residue mod p and therefore uh, there exists uh, uh, for even uh, when p is uh, uh, when p is an odd prime number uh, then uh, there exists uh, uh, p minus 1 divided by 2 how, how many uh, numbers are there uh, which are quadratic residue uh, there are p minus 1 divided by 2 uh, such numbers you can count that their number by when we count that we get that it is uh, there the number is p minus 1 divided by 2 and so the number of uh, uh, yeah number of numbers which are quadratic non residue uh, is also p minus 1 divided by 2 because uh, when uh, we add these two uh, numbers we get uh, p as the total number uh, of powers okay and that's the end of the uh, theorem thank you